Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Don't you never have any sacred stone. Oh, this you crazy mother.
like you ever felt. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.
All right, all right, all right. Oh, sorry for uh, some of the fake out right there. Um, I was going to put it up on my other channel and do Puppy Cam Live, but I said, you know what, let me just run it on this channel. And I'll just run these guys. I fed them before I did this because I, you know, took them out of there and let them run around the kennel and then put them back in there for that. And the reason that they're all sleeping is because they always sleep after they eat. And the number one reason why I didn't do it sooner with putting up a puppy cam is because they were always sleeping. But now they're up a lot. So while we're on this, we'll see if they wake up. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. There's so many people here. I got some cool stuff I want to talk about. Uh, something I want to show you guys, too. But, uh... Let's, uh, I'm going to start from the bottom over here today because I don't know who's on um, and who's still on here and who's not, but I can see right here. Oh, gee. My man, what's going on, man? Southwest Texas. Thank you very much, man. Yep. Uh, beer and a shot right there. Is that what you got going on right there? I think so. Oh, and a cigarette. And what else is that little glyph right there? Is that toilet paper? Mike White, how are you, brother? Good to see you, man. Thank you very much for hanging out. Jibber Tactical, fellow patriots. Absolutely, fellow patriots. Um, it's pretty much a topic of the conversation tonight. Um, at least some of the things that I'd like to talk about, you know. Oh, man, Sean S2 Power, what's happening over there, brother? Vanessa Kitty, hi, how are you? Uh, I'm going to go up a little bit, and if anybody's on, uh, still on here, um, Lyle, of course, uh, great picture. Thank you very much for that text today. All right. Uh, give my regards to the missus. Uh, Warhorse, 1914, man. Sounds like some soft porn music. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Got to go royalty free, man. I get hit with copyrights just about every single live stream that I do. I swear to God. Every single live. Not that I monetize my live streams or anything like that, but... I get hit with copyrights. I got copyright after every, the past, like several of them, copyright, copyright, for things I'm like, what was this? When I shared the other night with you about the Pegasus program, okay, where they're being able to spy through your cell phones and stuff like that, that actual video is banned worldwide with the exception of the United States. Now, isn't it kind of ironic that we pointed out when we watched that the other day that it was wasn't showing up that it was in the United States. It was in all these other countries, but it's banned in Europe. So uh, that right there, uh, they hit me with that too. Another copyright infringement. However, uh, if you're still on here, give me a what's up, all right, in a side chat so you can definitely get recognition because, you know, all of this is about you guys. Um, this is, I come on here for you. That's it. You know what I mean? Um, I could give a rat's ass the next day or whatever, unless people want to watch it. You know what I mean? But for the most part, you know, it's it's about tonight. It's about me hanging out with you guys, and I really appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me. Thank you very much. Night Stalker, what's going on, brother? A little white dog dancing in his sleep. Oh, yeah. He's got a little Audi, too, man, on his uh, his little uh, belly button right there. He's got a little Audi going on. Zeus. What's going on, big Zeus? How are you, my brother? How are you, man? What you got? What are you saying over here? All right, for Christmas, I want one of those blue hot dog chew toys. Please make it a please make it a red one if possible. Otherwise, it might get used for target practice. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. It's it, it, how crazy is it? Like anything blue, you're just like, Ugh, no, 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 no. You know what I mean? Like we're like totally into the red, and that's a good thing. That is a very good thing. Goes straight in line with the patriot discussion that I want to have with you guys tonight. You know. Still love the name of that channel, man. First name, man. Uh, yeah, no, they're not down for the night, man. They will be up in a little bit. They got big fat bellies. What happened is I, I fed them kind of like double. I put two. Okay, so when we were feeding them um, the wet food, because my, my wife went from milking, they were uh, they weaned off completely on their moms. But while we were weaning them off of their mom, then we started making it. My, my, my wife makes what's called a gruel. So she'll take the, the kibble and she'll... Uh, make it nice and you know wet and then put it in the vitamixer with some other stuff goat's milk and all that stuff and make a gruel and then we started getting them to eat solid food great thing and that was in like this little bowl looks like a big flower each one had a little bowl for themselves but if you put kibble in that it's everywhere i mean they walk inside the bowl and stuff like that so i just basically dump i put the mat out i put a clean puppy pad out and i make a i just go make a big line of it 
I just dump it out a big line of it, it's like a pile line of it, and uh, they go in there and they eat. And it's also another good thing about that when you have puppies. How many people get dogs when they get home and they get like, they're over their bowl, you know what I mean? And they're and they growling at other dogs, they don't want to share. So it's good that puppies eat together, always eat together, so therefore they won't develop, hopefully not develop a food aggression. And I fed them, my wife didn't realize I fed them, when I set the camera up, I'm looking on the camera, so I had to come all the way back across the property to look at the camera over here to make sure I was running fine over there. And I see her dump a whole bunch out in the, in the kennel, uh, in the, the little corral area right there. And I ran in there. I'm like, no, 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 take that away from them. But they had eaten a lot of that already. So they are full. They'll wake up in a little bit. And they're going to be nuts tonight. So they're not down for the night, trust me. These little monsters are up all night long yelling and screaming. All right, what we got going on over here? Um, I know, man. Sorry about that, brother. I'm sorry about that, Sean. You just can't. Okie Bassin, man. What's going on, man? Charlie Mike, Charlie Mike T. Lawton, Jerry Parker. I'm just going to say hello to a couple people. I don't know if you guys are still on here. Your sons. Crystal Dong Tiki, how are you? My man, Reptile Guys, Dennis from the West Coast. And another Dennis from the West Coast, Wall and Tactical. Northern West Coast, Southern West Coast. Let's go back down to the bottom right here, you know. Karen M, what's going on, man? What's up, brother? Welcome to the, welcome to hang out, man. Welcome to the hangout. Kathy Brandt, all right. Love the puppy cam. Thank you. Absolutely. I'm going to start putting the puppy, puppy cam up regular. So if you've seen an alert of mine, don't get all excited because I'm going to be there. Um, I should actually, what I'll do is I'll, I'll schedule it and then you'll see a thing listed, puppy cam live. And then if you want, if you look at it, you'll see the countdown of when I'm actually going to come on. It might be eight hours later because I might put it on early. I don't know. Uh, but I'm going to try to do it as best as I can. And there's my brother, Gary Wiseman. What's going on, mother, bro my mother, brother? Had to stop stuff my face so I'll be lurking until I get home. Yes. I um, just ate pierogies. And I had, because my, my wife's like, what do you want to eat? I'm like, I don't know, man. Let me go look and see what we got. So I'm like, ooh, pierogies. All right, so I'll make some pierogies. And um, I saw a can of beans. Um, what do you call those? Um, you know, like pork and beans, but without the pork. You know, um, what are those beans called? Anyway, you know, because it's like, like sweet sauce in it. Anyway, I uh, I said, I'm going to make beans and, and pierogi. She's like, huh? She's like, you got this? I said, I got this. And, you know, some sour cream and stuff like that. But uh kind of feeling full right here. Having my baby. What a wonderful way to say how much you love me. All right, so let's get on what we got going on right here, man. I posted some good news about Oregon on Discord. Did you now? Um, oh, was that the thing Oregon with the? Yes, I think I, I think I, I saw it. The uh, they, the judge knocked down the gun grabbing the gun, gun thing. This is a gun news. I'll uh, I'll bring it up and we'll look at it today. Yes, absolutely. Put a little star next to that so I remember it. Okay, let me see right here. Yep, I'll put a little star next to it so I remember. Okay. If you guys put something in the side chat, say, yo, can we get to this at some point here? Say it in there and then or say, you know, Steve, star, put a star on next to this. You know what I mean? Like just put a little whatever. Just say, save this one for later on in the chat that I put a little star and I can go back into that. And I can look at just those, pull up those so I remember them. So if you want me to rem remember something, remind me and then we'll get back to it. All right. My man, Lyle, what's going on, man? Yeah, baked beans. Thank you, brother. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just so stupid, man. I really am. I'm not live. I am not smart, first of all. But I'm not smart like live. You know what I mean? I, things go right over my head. All right, let's go ahead and let's check this out right here, man. I want to show you guys this right here real quick. All right, let's see if we get this going. Here we go. And what happened to it? Here we go. Okay, so let me show you what this is. What, where's the sound? Where's my sound? Hold up. Hold up. Hold it. Stop the... Okay. There we go. Hold up. Mic plus. I think we got it now. Let's go. Let's check it out. No. Okay. All right. All right, we're having a little technical difficulties here. Hold up. All right, let's just go drag this right here, and then I'll just put it on the screen right here. Then that's all. Okay, and let's go ahead and uh, it's only 16 seconds long anyway. Okay, so let's watch this. 
Where's my sound? Do you guys hear it? I don't hear anything. Oh, this is why. Sorry, back to live. Now I know why. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, hold up. Let's do this again. I was in preview mode. Okay? Okay, so here we go. Let's go back. I think I got it now. There we go. All right, let me tell you guys what this is right here. Okay, so, sounds like they're um, shouting USA. They're also, but I think they're shout, shouting Liberté, maybe. That right there, look at all of these people right here. Is this not insane, okay? This is, can't get any closer in on it. I wish that I could. Let me see if I can make it bigger. It's about as big as I could get it. But look at all these people up and down this whole thing right here. Look at all that. Look at all of those people up and down right there, guys. That's France. Oh, Paris, right? Yeah, Paris. So that, so the reason that I brought that up, I brought this up for a particular reason, okay? So I get a um, I get a thing. I'm not. I I, I want to play it, but I get a I'll, on Discord. I showed it to the guys on Discord. I will post it. I don't even want to post it on the Discord. Okay. So I get a message from the gentleman who is in charge of the three percent of nation, one of the three percent of group down in Georgia. He's been on my channel before. We did a live feed with him. Okay, and. He's talking about going to the Capitals on the 28th or the 29th of uh, August um, for a protest or whatever. But the way, when he showed it, okay, it was it was very, very intense. He's like, this is our last one. If Antifa's there, whatever, we're just going to run right over them. He was very, very aggressive in the whole thing. And I wrote him back. You know, because he sent it to me in a text message on my phone. So I wrote him back and essentially I told him what I mentioned last night on the live stream. I said, guys, I said, I said, bro, listen, we need to prove our forefathers correct. OK, we need to show that the system that the forefathers set up, we can make this work. We need patience. We need we need diligence. OK, and we need to be assertive. But by no means, all right, and don't get me wrong, he's talking about exercising his constitutional right and going and protesting, which is perfectly fine. And at the same time, if you see BLM or anybody else doing this, all right, they pretty much speak the way he speaks. But there's no anti-whiteness, uh, you know what I mean? There's anti-whiteness going on right now. So if you say something, if you say the same thing when you're black or the same thing when you're white, Say it when you're white and you are automatically considered an extremist, a seditionist, you know. Um, whether or not that goes anywhere, whether or not it carries any weight, whether or not it, you know, makes it past the news, more or less, because that's really all things do. They go into the news. They don't really go any further. But people do get arrested and stupid stuff happen. My point being is that we have to try our best now look at these people that are in look at all these people okay these people don't have guns and i think that's what my whole point is right here okay is that these people are out there and then remember with the yellow vests and stuff like that the police backing on off they don't have guns they don't have, they have and they have you know a thousand years of history right there too where we we do not Okay, here in the United States. But they're out there. They're not out there shooting it up. They're not out there destroying. They're not out there looting. They're not out there doing anything violent whatsoever. They are protesting as is whatever their rights are. I don't know what their rights are in Paris. Now, I don't know if anything's going to come from that. I don't have a clue. I don't even know what's going on over there. It just This was just brought to my attention. And I was... Like, this is 
pretty cool. And they're either shouting USA or Liberté. I can't really make it out. You know what I mean? Somebody said they're shouting USA. I said, I don't think they're shouting USA. I think they're shouting Liberty, you know? And that's good enough for me. That's the same thing as shouting USA. But we got a long road ahead of us, you know? Uh, we have a long road ahead of us. And the worst thing that we could do is to turn it into something that it shouldn't be. Does that make sense? And I want to, you know, come on, man. If I got to fight, I'll fight. I'm not worried about that, you know? None of you worried about it either, I'm sure. But we got to do it the right way. That's all. I mean, what do you guys think about that, man? You know? <laughs> I hate testicle difficulties. <laughs> You know, let's let, let's listen again. Tell me, tell me if you guys hear. What, what what are they shouting? Are they shouting Liberté or are they shouting USA? Let's see. Liberté. 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 However, it's not uncommon for other countries to, you know, uh like we talked about before, wrapping U.S. flags and stuff like that. Here's what scares me the most about what's happening, okay? Okay, so you guys heard about the... Sorry about that, guys. Have you guys heard about that General Donahue? Um, who is... Uh, he's, a, he's a major general, and... Uh, if you go on Twitter, okay, he is... Let me pull it up right here. I'll pull it up and I'll show you guys. So, he's being... Uh, there was a really interesting uh, thing that I watched on... Um, what's his name? Uh, Tucker Carlson. Let me share that with you and then you'll uh, it'll catch up to speed. Tucker Carlson's got it. It was on Tucker Carlson yesterday. I caught it right after I got off our... We had a live stream, and then we all went and hung out on Discord for hours, okay? And we had a great time, because on Discord, then we could look at show guns, and just a lot of fun. Um, so, guys, don't forget, hang out at the Discord, okay? However, my point being is simple. Um, let's see what Tucker Carlson did, and then I'm going get, to get to you, because it's what's... I'm putting these pieces together, okay? Because everybody says, well, the military, they won't go against the American people. Hmm. I would think twice about that statement right there, all right? Given the way things have been going lately. Let's go ahead and pull this up. All right, here it is. All right, let's go to Tucker Carlson right here. All right, I actually watched it last night, so it's going to be in my history. Here we go. Let's bring this up. but also on the international level as well. It's pretty unbelievable that, you know, as many times as we say it out loud, it's pretty unbelievable that Eric Swalwell, a member of the House Intel Committee, had sex with a Chinese spy called Fang Fang. It's remarkable. <laughs> it's also remarkable that Patrick Donahoe is a major general in the U.S. Army. Now, he's a general, but he doesn't seem as interested in keeping the country safe as he does in promoting a very specific political point of view. So he spends most of his time apparently online harassing political opponents of the Biden administration. Last week, General Donahoe was lecturing a student at Hillsdale College on the merits of mandatory vaccines. Hey, Hillsdale, come get your boy, wrote General Donahoe. That guy's really a general? That's when another user asked this, quote, hey, General, how many wars have you won? Now, rather than asking that question honestly, and of course the answer is zero, Patrick Donahoe responded this way, quote, don't be a shill for Putin. So here you have a major general in the U.S. Army accusing apparently an American citizen of being a, quote, shill for Putin because that person criticized Joe Biden. Are you comfortable with that, with a highly politicized U.S. military, military that acts basically as the armed enforcers of the Biden administration? We shouldn't be comfortable with it. Ned Ryan is founder and CEO of American Majority. He joins us tonight. Ned, I, I just, I can't help thinking, 
you know, you think of all the guys who joined the U.S. military because they love America and they want to defend the country and were endlessly right. grateful for their real sacrifice. And they are. It's not just it's, it's a cliche, but it's true. They do sacrifice in a big way. And then they have leaders like this who spend their days on Twitter calling people Putin shills because they disagree with Biden. Like, how? Why is this guy still I I commanding anyone? Why isn't he resigned? Seriously. Well, it's because I think the left has, has yet again been successful in another long march through yet another institution, which is the senior leadership of our military, uh, which I don't think should be that surprising, Tucker. I mean, a lot of these senior officers have gotten advanced degrees from indoctrination centers of higher learning like Harvard or Columbia. Uh, and a lot of them got their stars, I think, if we were to look back in the Obama administration, where they got advancement, not necessarily through merit of how good are you at tactics, how good are you at killing and destroying, but how good are you at parroting the left's talking points? And even more so, it, it appears this General Donahoe thinks that he'll win praise and advancement by attacking conservatives and populists. Uh, and that's where it's gotten to. Okay, so let me give you a little backstory on this, because when I watched this, the very first thing that I did is I said, I need to know more. Who is this guy? So I went on Twitter and I looked and I went to say, well, how did all of this, who are the people that, that are these tweets are and stuff like that? I, I want to get the whole picture. So what I did was I sat down and I did just that. And what I did was, where is my, uh, there it is right there. Let's go to Papa Steve right here. Okay. So let's go ahead and close that. Okay. So. The guy was, he was upset. So this, the foundation for what Tucker's talking about comes from this, the guy who wrote this article, who is a former Marine, okay? And, um, Josiah Lippincott, all right? And, uh, this is very, very interesting because this is a fantastic article because it talks about how the military wants to get, uh, all uh, these, this major general, okay? He's the major general at Fort Benning, so he's the... He's the head of Fort Benning, and he wants to um, get it all, all, he wants the military vaccinated. And this guy points out, and we're going to, we're going to get into it right now. I'm going to show you this. This is very, watch how, and you guys are going to see where I'm coming from with this. On July 22nd, Major, uh, Major General Patrick Donahoe, the commanding officer of Fort Benning, reported from his official Twitter account that he was seeing a surge in ICU visits among young soldiers due to COVID. He reported that he would mandate the vaccine if he had the power to do so. Mandate it for the whole army. So I replied pointing out that the DOD had lost a total of 26 out of 2 million personnel in the last year. Alright? In the last year and a half to the virus. So... 26 military personnel have died, according to them, their medical records, that they died f as a result of the V, okay? In the fourth quarter of 2020, there was a 25% surge in suicides. This is even more important. This is what caught my eye to the rest of this article. 25% surge in suicides in those three months alone. 26 additional service members took their lives compared to the prior, prior year. The military's response to the coronavirus is almost certainly to blame for the rise. I exited service in May 2020, having had plenty of time to witness these policies firsthand, as the, the writer said. Deployed troops returning home were forced to quarantine for, the, for, for weeks at a time. Masks were required in all public spaces on the base. Gyms were shut down. Commanding officers dramatically reduced liberty liberty limits to within only a few miles from the base. They couldn't go downtown. They couldn't have any fun. All right. Those like me who were stationed at Camp Pendleton, which is in San Diego, were prohibited from traveling just 30 minutes south to San Diego during the off hours. In light of these draconian policies, it is no wonder that troops experience a surge in psychological illness and suicidal ideation. Turning barracks into prisons is a recipe for the problems. And <coughs> he wound up making a comment on Donahue's Twitter account and Donahue did this. All right. So General Donahue uh, accused me of engaging in false equivalency and of downplaying the vaccine, arguing that it was a pathway to normalcy 
as the return of mask mandates for both vaccinated and unvaccinated in the cities like Los Angeles attest to. This is clearly not true. The real path to normalcy is for the military leadership to adjust their risk tolerance, treating healthy people like biohazards over an illness that has killed two dozen personnel in the force of millions is insane. Those preventative policies have consequences too, all right? The surge of depression and suicide among the young is real. They, now, he just mentioned the last quarter of 2020. They lost 26. The military lost 26 people in a year and a half related to the virus. And just in the last quarter of 2020, they lost more than that in suicide. So what, what, so what happened is um, he winds up getting to uh, uh, words on Twitter, on Donahue's Twitter uh, posts and stuff like that. And then this guy, Donahue, calls Hillsdale College. That's where that come get your boy is, where that uh, Tucker Carlson was talking about. All right. So he also tweeted the university where I'm a student, Hillsdale College, and told them, come get your boy for questioning the military's quarantine lockdown policies. General Donahue apparently thinks the private sector is just like the military, where criticism can, can be stopped. And Korea's ended with a mere snap of the fingers. As, a, as the threat attracted more attention, one commenter asked the general how many wars he'd won. Which brings me back to, alright, because he hasn't, alright. The general responded by accusing the questioner of sh- uh, uh, shilling for Putin. When I asked if Putin was the reason America had lost, at, lost Afghanistan, the general blocked me. And now his I checked out his account and you have to be approved to he has to be approved personally by him to go on his account or to see any of his posts so he just closed himself in a bubble so my intention with the general serves as a a, a microcosm of the americans military cultural rot here we have a two-star general who spends his days on social media hyping a vaccine for for an illness that poses minimal risk to his troops when pressed on why america can't win wars and why he embraces policies that treat healthy people like biohazards, his first response is to accuse his critics of treachery and then block them from view. All right? This is what $693 billion a year buys you. Unbridled arrogance from the leaders of the military that can't win against third world tribesmen armed with small arms and homemade explosives. We talked about this many times. We just talked about this yesterday. Okay? Uh, Counterinsurgency. We've could never, I mean, could they just imagine here? It makes absolutely no sense what's going through their mind. They must have a bigger, more sinister plot if that's what they're thinking about. All right. A significant portion of our military leaders like General Donahoe are totally detached from reality. They face no consequences for losing wars or losing troops to prevent to preventable suicides. Many of them don't really command anything at all. They are so ensconced in layers of bureaucrats, staff, operations, and logistics shops, briefs, intelligent reports, public affairs officials, and aides that there is usually no danger of the public uncovering their true character, lack of leadership, or empty careers. This was an amazing article. Amazing article by a GI who just got out of the military and went to school and voiced his opinion so what did this what kind of perspective this puts a couple things into perspective number one is that you can see the military doesn't give a rat's ass about uh uh uh, military suicides at all okay enlisted suicides they don't care all right they only care about whatever their agenda is with the v word okay and with the C word, the C and the, the C and the V word. At the same time, these commanders are so radicalized that it makes me wonder the type of information that would get down to the troops on a street level. Which I always said, people say, "Oh, and you, uh, U.S. troops won't shoot on us." Yes, they will. If it's told to, they will. They may come to realize quickly that their informa- their intel was wrong, that they were given wrong intel, and then that'll get lost in the bureaucracy going up the chain of command. But these guys will have to live with it, okay? And maybe some of them die with it because, 
you know, if they're shooting at Americans, I'm sure that Americans at some point will be firing back. We pray that it doesn't get to that. So, why aren't they reeling in? This guy should have lost his job. He should have been forced into retirement, okay, for saying something like this. This is a, this is an atrocity. This is a, a, people should be absolutely outraged by him. General Milley, these guys are a disgrace to the uniform as it stands right now. They truly are. They should retire. They should resign, retire, do whatever it takes. They should not be commanding our troops because people like that commanding our troops will send a message down that will be followed, okay, under penalty of incarceration for those who don't obey it. And if they declare any war or something like that, it's firing squad. I mean, it could be even worse. It's some scary stuff, man. Some scary, scary stuff. All right, let's go over here. Let's go. Let's go back down south from the bottom. John Harvey, what's going on, brother? All right. Take PowerPoint from them, and they will be helpless. All right. U.S. Chair Force. That's right. <laughs> Alan Powell, three point What's going on, my brother? Oh, on the couch, a little minnow. How are you, man? Uh, what did he say? Also, flip-flops on a new tactical gear. Yeah, it, it's crazy. Kathy Brandt, I'm in love with the white pup on his back kicking. Yes, he'll be waking up soon, Kathy. You just stick around. Come come check in from here and there because these dogs are absolutely out of their mind. Uh, I'll probably wind up putting um, connecting the sound to that as well. So you'll actually be able to hear them. And uh, you can hear the puppy scream and you can just leave it on the TV in your kitchen. And I'll, I'm going to run it all day long. You know, <laughs> Michael Hemme, my brother from Arkansas, man. Yep. Uh, so in Arkansas, Mike, I sent Michael an article this morning uh, that they uh, reversed. They were supposed to give the three hundred dollars to the people that were unemployed, the unemployment benefits. Three only three hundred dollars, but a lot of people were just cut right off at the knees, and they needed that money. You know what I mean? They didn't have time to go out and get a job or whatever it is, and they needed that three hundred dollars. It's important to them. And now uh, I think Mike told me that they. Uh, that the Democrats actually appealed it. A judge ruled that they need to get get that three hundred dollars. The state needs to you know, reopen that. Okay, um, and then the Democrats, I think, appealed it, so it's not going anywhere. It's kind of like gun uh, uh, decisions in California, where a judge rules for it, and then they tie it back up and appeal again. You know, my man Jeb Bear. Thank you, my brother. Thank you, Charlie Mike, Charlie Mike, Kumite. All right. It's not time to go rogue yet. No, it's not, man. It's not. It's not for anybody, man. It's just we need to just try to see. Little by little, we're finding out who is actually representing the American people and who is not. That's all. But more importantly, okay, and here it sucks for us. This really, really, really sucks for us, okay? But we need to stay just safe ourselves because we need the Americans who are brainwashed on the left to get a wake-up call to see what is actually happening. Because once the people on the left actually see what's happening, when they begin to wake up, then it's on, okay? Then things will change, right? Because these are... The social media warriors, all right? That's all they are, social media warriors. But you know what? They would be very helpful if they began to see things our way. See, well, not our way. Sorry. Mistake. I shouldn't have said that. If they began to see things for what they are, okay? Because then they would start blasting away. And then they would begin to separate themselves from those elites. And then we would have good space but we don't have even though we are the super majority okay what are we gonna do we're gonna make ourselves look you know good to the super majority but we still have the rest of people these people are still are americans love them hate them i don't care what you do all right but they're still americans if we if it popped off tomorrow and we got everything that we wanted what are we gonna do with them throw them out no, man. These people are Americans. They need to see the light. We need to make them see the light. There's got to be a way for us. There's got to be a way, you know? Yeah, they, they want to um, they want to lock them all down, Kathy. It's, it's so true. Uh, they're working. I said this a while ago. I don't know if you guys remember, but I said they're going to open it up 
for the summer. You're going to hear some minor talk about it, soft selling of it, okay? And their plan will be just to open it up, and then they're going to go back to lockdowns as soon as the, the, nice, the nice weather's gone. As soon as it starts getting colder and people are more indoors, they're going to lock the doors, and they're going to enforce lockdowns, enforce masks. Why aren't they doing it right this moment? Because if they did it right this moment, because this is what they want to do, they obviously want to do it, okay? Why not do it right now? Because if they did it right now, then the people who voted Democrat would see. That's why. But what they need to do is they need to start pumping up the numbers in the media. Start pumping up, throwing out 60 more people, you know, died today. The new bear, this, and this happened today because of this. And start layering it, layer by layer by layer as the weeks and days go on. And then when they hit, we've been telling you guys for months, it's been getting worse. Nothing's getting better. This is what we need to do. It's, they're not stupid. They know exactly what they're doing. If they were to do it right now, the left, they would lose the left, a good portion of it. And they would, and these people would take, actually take to the streets, something that we don't do. Okay. They would be out in the streets tearing shit up. They're already out in the streets tearing shit up. They'd even make, they would be even worse. A- absolutely even worse. So, watching the housing market. The housing market is going to crash. It's going to... The housing market is going to be so... If you are in the market and you think you're going to buy a house, you know what I mean? Right now, don't. Wait, wait, wait. It's going to crash. And don't forget, tomorrow is what? August 1st, okay? Guess what happens tomorrow? They didn't renew the ban on evictions. People are going to start losing their homes starting tomorrow, and they're going to start losing, if they're renting somewhere, they're going to be evicted. So if they have a mortgage in there in the rears, the bank's coming to take their house starting tomorrow. If they're in rent and they're in arrears, the U.S. Marshals or the Sheriff or whoever it is is going to be there to kick them out. And the government, here's what I, the way I see what's going to happen is, so the federal government, because they did not extend it any further, okay, because you guys remember, they were saying, uh, we want to extend the uh, non-eviction stuff, all right, Uh, but they didn't do it. So now they're going to need the manpower to go in and evict these people that haven't been paying rent for maybe the past year. Now they're going to have to get police because it's done with police. That's what the police are for. And sheriffs, U.S. Marshals, I don't know exactly how it's done. But I would imagine that the government's going to say we need money to expand on this so we can have the personnel in there to get these people out. It's another reason to put more boots with guns under the federal jurisdiction on the ground. And speaking of which, I want to talk about the FBI in a second, you know. What we got over here? Am I missing anybody? All right, I think I'm good. Mr. Becerra, what's going on, man? Charlie Mike, Charlie Mike, Charlie Mike. That's right, Victor P. Ah, America. It's we the people. Yes, it is we the people. It's we all the people, not just us, you know, what we call ourselves patriots right now, okay? We have to have everybody, you know what I mean? It doesn't work if we don't, you know? Hello, Warthog, take a power. Oh, yeah, PowerPoint from me. I saw that. I think. Yes. Yeah, they'd be screwed. You know, keynote also for them, you know. Pony 47, what's going on, my brother? Prepare with food. Yes, this is very true. Get you guys, get get yourself prepared, all right? Especially if you're going towards the end of the summer, man, you can put some money away, buy some stuff. Get water, get food, get dry goods, get beans, get, you know, uh, soup. Get all that stuff. Uh, If you have a swimming pool, keep it full. Keep that water full. Cover your pool. Keep that where you could always boil it and all that other stuff later on. Um, if you have drums, go out and pick yourself up a 50-gallon drum or something like that. Water. It lasts good six months because then you have, you're supposed to turn it every six months. I'm not a prepper, but we prepare. You know what I mean? I got gallons and gallons of water. and Get your toilet paper. Get all those things. These things are not going to be around. Okay? Now, I want to talk about also, uh, on top of that, is the inflation. Guys, we've been at this for seven months with Joe Biden. 
We won't, we won't last another three and a half years. It's this bad right now in seven months. Imagine another three and a half years how bad it's going to be. Inflation, gas, all this stuff is so high. And here's the sad part about the whole thing. And I'm going to say this straight up and down, straight jacket, okay? The first ones to suffer who are going to get hit the hardest is the black community. The second ones to get hit the hardest will be the uh, illegal aliens. Now, I don't care if the government's sending you a check, okay? That's all cool. You're going to get money from the government? That's perfectly fine. But where are you going to spend it if all the store's shelves are empty? What are you going to do? You're going to have pockets full of cash. Where are you going to go to get it? So you're going to spend uh, an exorbitant amount of money in gas to travel really far to get stuff to get home? Well, you're going to have to do something because it's not going to be on the shelves. And with inflation, they're going to start price fixing everything, okay? So all this stuff is going to, because with inflation going up, businesses won't be able to keep up. They won't be able to afford the energy bills to keep up, and they're going to shut down. So there's, there's going to be less and less and less on the shelves. This is what socialism does. So do they really deserve it? Does the black community and the uh, uh, um, inner city communities or illegal aliens, because they're all going to inner cities. They're not going out to rural areas. They're not shipping them out to, okay? Do they deserve to be the ones who get hit the hardest? And they are going to suffer. And their crime is going to skyrocket. It's going to be, it's going to be off the charts. And it's going to be very quickly. Look where we are in just quick seven months. Let's go seven months ahead. Let's get to January and see how bad it gets. You won't be able to go out Christmas shopping because you're going to get robbed. Okay? It's going to get that bad. But do they deserve what's coming to them? That's my question. Just because they voted Democrat? I don't say anybody deserves anything, okay? Because they voted Democrat. But they can't change the way inflation's going right now. They just I don't know what they can do to stop it. I just don't know. I have no idea, you know? Dog food. Yeah. Uh, guys, I, you know, right now, everything that I'm doing is, you know, I, I do a lot of cook own cooking for my dogs, but we do buy dog food. And I buy... A couple of 50 pound bags at a time but still i go through it i go through like uh what do i go through probably i don't know 40 pounds i probably go through 120 pounds of dog food a month in bags and then other stuff that i put in it then cans and then fresh meat and stuff like that it's expensive oh yeah i know you're set bro i know you're set absolutely five five six to 45 cents on amos glass i checked yes Ammo prices are coming down. They're going to come down because here's what's going to happen. Ammo prices, guys, hold out. If you don't need ammo, don't buy it just yet. Don't buy it, okay? Once we get to the fourth quarter this year, even the third quarter this year, you're going to see prices drop down even further because people are not, people are going to want to buy toilet paper over ammo. Hold on to your ammo, okay? Hold on to it. The prices are going to come down, okay? And then... Buy it up real quick because then the price is going to skyrocket again after January. You know? We're going through this with diapers right now for our son. What's up, uh, Dwayne? So we take whatever we could find at the store from. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, I got a little uh, uh, trick for you guys if you got dogs. You know the puppy pads you buy? Okay? So if you buy a pack of 30 puppy pads... Uh, whatever size you get. Let's say, you know, buy it. Let's say it's um, $40, $30 for a pack of 30, okay? It only costs, I buy Depends that are made for human beings. Like people, they put Depends on their beds, the Depends pads, okay? I only pay 15 bucks for those. It's the same exact thing. But because it's sold for humans, it's more than 50% cheaper, you know? The diapers made me think of that just now. You know what I mean? What do we got going on here? Let's see what you guys are saying over here. All right. Does anybody know many people voted compared to registered voters in the last election? That's a good question. 
You know what I mean? It's a good question. All of this other stuff is going to come out. Don't think, let me tell you something. The left will never, ever give up this power easily. Okay? Now, brings me back to these generals. I wanted to say this a little, a, a few minutes ago. Okay? So, if for whatever reason, the Supreme Court rules that Donald Trump won the election, all right? Let's say all the elections, there's fraud found in all of them, okay? Uh, uh, um, reptile guy and I, we went over last night, the Laughlin. You remember the La uh, Lori, Lori Laughlin in the uh, Georgia runoff, okay? Remember that she lost the Georgia election and so did the other uh, um, uh, conservative that was running against the Democrats? Well, I just happened to pick it up, pull it up last night. Okay, hold on a second. I just want to show you guys something. And then I'll get back to what I was saying about the, uh, 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 if the Supreme Court said, you know what, you, yes, Trump won the election, fair and square. There was, this was what was going on with that, okay? All right. Um, Georgia. Okay, let's bring up the Georgia runoff right here. Okay. see here we go so here's what i found very interesting about looking at this okay check this out so loffler and warnock this would this is the results of that race right there i never really paid attention to it before and i looked at it yesterday 49 to 51 percent there was only fifty-three thousand votes or something like that difference okay but look at this. Here's what's very interesting. Now, let's say, now this is before they do a forensic audit on all this. Imagine what it would look like with a forensic audit with all the stuff that they would find, okay? If they did a, a real in-depth audit. She destroyed him in every single area. You see more red than blue just about everywhere. Everywhere in every part of it, you see more red than blue. A little bit more blue than red there, but look, more. She's on top in every one of them. Yet she lost or conceded or whatever. I know. And then she went in to Congress that day, and she, with no, you know, in no good conscience, can I, you know, give whatever, do anything for Donald Trump. Look at all this red. This is all red. This whole state is red. She destroyed him. The whole thing. How did she lose this? Why do you think that they don't want the Georgia election to come out? It's very... This is some very, very creepy stuff. This is criminal. This is bad stuff going on here. This needs to be investigated. You know? And... Okay. So what happens if Trump really did win? So... Let's get back to that, okay? This is, why do you think they are using such radicalized military generals right now? Why do you think that these guys are in this position right here running the military? That the, 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 the generals in charge of the military, why are they just so, ha why do they just so happen to be so deeply and thoroughly, thoroughly radicalized to the left because it's going to take the military to do one of two things it's going to take even if the supreme court decides that yes trump won this election it's going to take the military to get them out of there okay it'll also take the military to protect them from getting out of there one way or the other so if you have all the generals and they're all radicalized and the Supreme Court says what they say, but the generals, what does a general want to do? He wants to remain a general. No different than any other power position. Now, how that would play out with his subordinates, I don't have a clue. I don't know how that would work. I honestly don't. But they are in control of all the heavy machinery and the, you know, for whatever it is. 
these generals want to stay in power. If Trump went in, they know they would be gone tomorrow. So would it be in their best interest to turn it over? Or would it just be in their best interest to say, you know what? I could be in this position for the rest of my life. And the hell with the Constitution. To hell with all of that. And all the people that want to leave the military, they could leave. Because we'll just pull people from South America. We'll pull people from other countries in. We'll pull these uh, maniacs from other countries. And we'll get their soldiers. And that's what we'll comprise of the military here at home. Did that thought ever occur to you? Because if they remain in power, they still have their hands on the purse strings. You have the president and all of their cronies that want to remain in power. They have the generals who run the armies. Those who don't want to be in the army, leave. And they'll pull somebody in from Russia. They'll pull somebody in from the people in from China, from, from, from South America. And we won't even recognize the military. It won't be an American military anymore. But it will be a military with control of all that stuff, of all the tanks and jets and heavy armament and all the other good stuff. Now, that doesn't say, all right, so if something like that happened, you have some like Lake City Brass, all right, who make, makes ammo for them, all right, who makes ammo for the military. That's not to say that ammo makers in the United States, a lot of other things at play right here would say, you know what, no, I'm not sending you any more ammo. That's it. We're done. But they may come in and take over their whole operation with whatever they have. Meanwhile, there'd be a civil war going on. But you get my point? You got to think about the. They don't have radicalized generals in there for no reason at all. They're not attempting to radicalize the military for no reason at all. They're not trying. They're not. They don't have to weed out those who aren't radicalized. They're going to weed themselves out. They're going to leave. They're going to ETS. They're going to go on profile. What profile means is if you get hurt, you. You don't go anywhere. You don't do anything medical. And then they're going to medically discharge out. You got to think about these things, man. They control all that right now. So if, yes, the Supreme Court said, they would say, screw the Supreme Court. We don't care about the Constitution. So because we don't care about the Constitution, there's no need for a Supreme Court anymore. And then they would take over key areas in the United States. It would be colonialism from the inside. If you guys know what colonialism is, it's a big country going into a small country taking their resources. Except it would be colonialism here at home. Sending it out to China. Sending it out to the money coming in that way. This is what they would do. Oil. You know, things of that nature. Oh yeah, but they will be up, John. Trust me. When they when they went and when they wake up, you are more than welcome to come over and deal with them, brother. <laughs> they got some big old bellies, right? Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, dude, I I go through so many pads, and my wife the other day she's like, you know what? Let's look at the pens. It's the same exact thing. You know what I mean? And it doesn't have the chemicals in it. So puppy pads have like a gel chemical in it. They're fantastic. The pee on them, it's a gel. Um, the depends are like absorbent, but really no gel in it like that. So they make it for humans. I think it's a little bit better. I don't know, man. Possibly. Okay. What happened in Argentina? Nobody talks about Argentina anymore. Okay. So what happened down... Is it Argentina? It's Argentina. Don't cry for me, Argentina. What happened down there? Only a small group of elites and everybody else. Money was, all, was completely worthless then. The dollar... like So let's make the dollar bill. In Argentina or Venezuela. I'm sorry, not Argentina. Venezuela, okay? Let's look at socialism... Uh, uh, the, the repercussions of socialism in Venezuela... I'm going to show you some pictures with stacks and stacks of money in the street, okay? All right. Okay. 
This is 2018. Let's see. Tragedy of socialism. All right. Let's see. Right here. Let's go images. All right. So here we are. Let's bring this up right here. Okay. And this is what we'll be seeing. There's no doubt in my mind. This is exactly what we'll be seeing right here. Okay. Let's go to, uh, I want to see like, like, look. Money not worth anything anymore, right? Their minimum wage that they want to raise right now will fall to like, you know, pennies for minimum wage. Oh, where are we right here? Let's pull this up. The inc this is, I mean, it is absolutely insane. Look at this. Absolutely insane. Nothing. Nothing there. This was just a few. These are what, imagine the United States being like this. And the military in charge. That's, but, but hold on a second, guys. There is a bright side to all of this for us. Okay. There's a bright side to this. And why we would not wind up looking like Venezuela, okay? People waiting online for food and stuff like that. Because we still have these right here. That's why, okay? We still have these. And this is why it's important. I see you guys saying it over there, okay? Yes, you need to have food. You need to have water. You need to have those things to keep you alive. But you need to have ammunition, and you need to have a working firearm, okay? Because if things were to go terrible, if things were to go awry, what would happen? Bullets are got ammunition's not going to last forever, is it? No. And it will it come back? Yes, it will come back, but it's to say who's going to control it. Remember what I talked about? And I said, okay, so shit sets off. And then, even though there's people who are fighting for the same thing that you're fighting for, then they get separated and they break off into cliques, okay? So, if you have an ammo maker near you, okay, or you have a, 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 an ammo supplier who sells components to maybe brass, nickel, black powder, whatever it is, those are going to quickly get closed off by small groups, towns, counties. And then they're going to start using that as their main resource to uh, make money to keep the people in their county alive or in their town. So it's going to start clicking off real quick, especially if the military, you, can't, they can't, you couldn't send the military in there. And all the military would try to fight their way in to get control of that. These would all be targets. It wouldn't just be, there wouldn't be, I'm throwing rocks at you, you're throwing rocks at me because uh, we disagree and we need to, uh, you know, you need to give up your position. No. It goes straight to resources. First thing you need to do is you need to control resources. You need to control fuel. You need to control trucking or transportation lines. Okay? You need to control food, obviously. Okay? And most importantly, especially here in the United States, unlike any other country in the world, you need to control ammunition and arms. And it's made in a lot of places all over the country. So, another thing, even if you're not a reloader, start buying reloading stuff. Start buying primers, start buying brass, start buying bullets. Start buying powder. Just buy them. Just buy it. Okay? If you could afford it, get it. All right, Michael Henry, you hear me, Michael Henry? You could buy canisters, 50 gallon drums of it. Get it. It's another thing that you would have, and it'll be worth its weight in gold. And then you'll learn how to reload while you're sitting at home, hold up. I've drawn a line and explained to my family if they come, yep, 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 yep. Me and my wife, we got it. We, we have a pact. You know what I mean? BLT, don't pay for anything, all right? They are taken. Yep, that's right. My man, Lomi, what's going on? Mike White. 
People say, oh, it will never happen. Don't fool yourself. That's right. Money is worthless if you can't buy anything. That's my whole point. That's my whole point. This is why we need these. We have to look at these things, barter and trade. Yeah, gold and silver and all that stuff, that's worthless too. If I have a $20 gold piece, who's going to give me change? If I have a $1,000 gold piece, who's going to give me change? Silver, it's going to be bartering items. Bartering items are much more important to me. You know what I mean? Hey, you got beans? Sure, what do you need? Okay, I'll give you five bullets. Okay? You got this? I got that. You know? Uh, uh, cash is worthless. You'll make cash, all right, by taking cash from people that have cash, but it might, the monetary system might change. Who knows? You know what I mean? Maybe somebody pays you in euros or some shit like that. Who the hell knows? You know, Brett Mack, what's going on, brother? What's going on, man? Oh shit! What up? What up, my man? What's going on, Sean? How are you, man? I buy ammo and reload stuff every payday, which is weekly. That's what I'm talking about. That's exactly. Buy a little bit, you know what I mean? But I'm going to tell you something. Ammo prices are going to drop drastically. They're going to they're gonna really, really start to come down. Watch. As inflation rises, ammo prices are going to drop because people are going to stop buying it. And then they're going to make it. They're going to sell it cheaper, you know? Let's see what you're saying over here. Younger generation say watches are useless. Of course. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah, and you need all these things. You need an analog watch, something so you can tell time, okay? I mean, what if you got hit with an EMP, you know? I mean, you got to think of these things. If you can afford it, buy some, like, uh, uh, some type of uh, solar battery charger thing, okay? Something where you could get a little bit of power, you know? Buy lighter fluid. Buy lighters, okay? Buy cigarette lighters, you know? Buy propane. Buy these things these things that no one's really paying attention to right now so the price on them is not skyrocketing cigarette lighters are so useful okay come on we all know that I'm not talking about for smoking cigarettes talking about for lighting fires okay um get these things there's my man ghost rider what's going on brother how are you man i mentioned you yesterday can't remember why but i did all right um Chop it up, all right? I got a diamond blade, rice beans. Yep, there you go, man. That's what I'm talking about. Absolutely, you know? My man, you know I am. Yeah, Mike. Mike, Michael doesn't reload. I know for a fact because he's one of my best friends, in, if not my best friend in the whole world, okay? He doesn't reload, okay? But it didn't dawn on me till this conversation just now because this stuff was coming off the top of my head. I don't think about this stuff before I get on. I, I think about parts of it. But... Mike should be buying as much reloading stuff as he could possibly buy. You know what I mean? Don't worry about the presses and all that other stuff. You know what I mean? Also, scales. Okay? Uh, I'm talking about scale and, and scales because you want to be, if you're going to sell something, you might have to weigh it. Okay? You might sell stuff by the pound, but you want to get an analog scale. You don't want to get a digital scale. And if you're a reloader, make sure you have at least one analog scale. You should be check, double checking with that anyway. You know what I mean? I have a Hornady AccuMeasure, okay? Electric. But I also have an RCBS scale, okay? Counter, counterbalance scale, counterweight. So, but also any type of scales. I have uh, one of those old scales that I could go ahead and I could hook up to the top and I could, it's got a hook on it and I could hang something from it. It'll go up to like 150 pounds from like one pound. So if you're selling stuff, you might be selling it by the pound. If you grow stuff, if whatever it is, you know, somebody might need sand for sandbags. I mean, I don't know why they would, but you get my point? Another thing, sandbags, you can buy them. They're flat in a box. Buy them. You could fill them up. They'll help you protect yourself. Best thing to do is to buy sandbags. You know, my watch is solar powered. Yes, solar powered. My red dot is solar powered, my whole sun. It's good if you like red dots, get a freaking solar powered red dot, okay? Get one of those. Get things that are solar powered. I mean, we might get nuked out. We might, you know, might not be able to use solar power or whatever, but, but have it. You know? Another good example is with the hurricane down in Louisiana years ago, all right? Please, yes. Exactly. And who was it that put the video out on that? Um... 
That was a really good documentary that they did. Uh, who? What was the channel that did the video on that? Where they were going door to door and they were taking people's guns. Remember what I said yesterday? I said that Lori Lightfoot slipped in something that she said. Or she said it because she just doesn't give a rat's ass. Probably more than that than ever. She said, we'll put you in a FEMA camp. What FEMA camp? What are you talking about, FEMA camp? And here's another thing. If you know where a FEMA camp is, let people know. If you see one or you think it is one, even if you think, let them on the other, whoever owns it, let them prove that it's not. If you think it's a FEMA camp, take pictures of it and post it on everywhere. You, there's a FEMA camp right here. Whoever owns it, let them fight with you and say, no, that's not a FEMA camp. That's not a FEMA. We'll prove it. Okay? Who am I? Who, who do I got a mod? Who's that? What are you talking about there? Oh, Ghost Rider. Yes. Ghost Rider. Yep. I gotta moderate Ghost Rider. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. That's you're right. Thank you, brother. Thanks for uh reminding me. Alright, here he is. Where's Ghost Rider? There he is right there. Okay. Anybody wants to be a moderator, tell me now, okay? Did I just make you a moderator? Yeah, I made him a moderator. Okay. Because uh, I've been getting uh, getting uh, off kamikazes coming on the channel. You know what I mean? And if you get somebody that comes on the channel like they did yesterday, start doing all that stupid blasting stuff on there, not only do you shut them off, but then go into them and then just report them. You know what I mean? So so you get the, so they so that you force YouTube to close their channel down, whatever fake channel that they're using. At least they won't be able to use that one anymore against somebody else. You know, I, I just did your blades. I just did your brother, you know. Yes, yeah, so anybody else wants to know, just let me know, okay? Most of you guys, just about everybody on here is a moderator now, you know. Yeah, it's going to be gasoline. Um, One of the things that I would uh, highly recommend is if you could afford it, get a scooter. Okay, or build you one, okay, something like that. Something that is really good. So if you need to ride around locally and throw something on the back or a motorcycle, you know what I mean? Uh, something, you know, those, they don't use a lot of uh, 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 gasoline, you know. Um, I If you can find an uh, a cheap Toyota or something that's really Honda, something that's really good on gasoline, you find it really cheap just to own it, good to go. I got a Jeep. Terrible on gasoline, okay? What does it get? 15, 20 miles to the gallon, if that, you know? Horrible. So you always want to have some type of vehicle that is pretty darn good on gasoline. It's going to get you further. Um, learning how to make bio deep biofuel is extremely important. You know what I mean? Like, uh, if you could get something that's running on diesel and you could run it on friggin' uh, 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 used oil, you know what I mean? From, from, from some kitchen or something like that perfectly fine if you can make your own oil make your own biofuel that's we need to learn how to do those things these are extremely important things to learn how to do if you want to learn how to do something learn how to make biofuel for home use you know holosun i love holosuns i do i love my i love my holosun i have the problem i know people have had problems with them my 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 my, my boy ryan hates hates the holosun had problems with it um but i like i like my holosun Runs all the time. Runs on solar. I've had the same battery in it for two, three years now. I haven't changed it. You know? And buy river rocks. All right? Or go to the river. Get iron sight. Yep. There you go. Or buy Rock River Arms AR-15s. You know? What else are we looking at? Wait, let me say... Um Okay, not to change the subject or anything, all right? A friend of mine had a real UFO hovering over an oil facility pad on his ranch. Has been freaking out lately. No way. Did he send you any... Uh, did, he, did he take a video of it or something like that? 
Post it on the Discord, OG. OG, if you're not on the Discord, I will be very, very insulted, okay? The Discord link is down, down below. We have great conversations on the Discord. And it's so much better because I can hear you guys talk. We talk back. And I can shut up and I don't get a damn sore throat. Uh-oh, puppies are waking up over here, guys. Look at this. Let's go ahead and split this, all right? Let's go ahead and split this. Oh, man, the puppies are waking up. Yeah, I see you, little girl. What else we got going on? All right, all right. Oh, you've heard of them. Come on, man. You've heard of solar-powered red dots. This Holo Sun makes them. They're fantastic. You know, you you. I know you gotta have one. You definitely have to have one. Oh my God, they're fantastic. Um, problem is, you have to have a battery in them too because then it won't work indoors. <laughs> All right. So, but if you leave it on solar, then uh, you're good to go, and then it'll use the battery if it needs to use the battery. That's why my battery's been running for three years in it. You know. All right. Yeah, go check out Holo Sun. That's right. Holo Sun. Uh, and actually, you could get get you could get a four hundred three. Uh, you could get a four hundred three right now, which is a sh uh, uh, solar from you know under two hundred bucks. You know, Trinity Force makes a solar power red dot. Is it any good? Do you have one, bro? Have you put? Did you show one on your channel? Hey guys, I s let's watch Delta D80's new video, all right? And if anybody has a new video you want we want to watch, we'll watch it right now. Blades and Fades is talking about um he's putting out good videos on knives, okay? They're really really long, but good videos, but he's uh I got your thing before I need to watch it. I want to be able to sharpen my clippers. So he's got a way to show you how to sharpen your electric clippers. Very very important. You make a video on that? It's going to go, you're going to get a million views on it, all right? If somebody, if somebody can easily sharpen their own clipper blades. But I want to see Delta D80's new video. It's supposed to be pretty good. Let's see, Let's see something here. Hold up a second. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Where is it? Where is it? I just saw it. I was just looking at it. Hold up. Hold up. Let's see D's video, his latest video. Uh, he does, D does has a real. He's got a lot of red dot. Uh, he does like red dot videos on a regular. But um, there he is right here. Oh, this is on the. Uh, no, let's see videos, latest video. Okay. Which solar power red dot did you do that on? Let's see this one right here. Let's... Optics. You guys can get 20% off your order, making it one of the cheapest auto red dot sights for your pistol. Let's go ahead and unbox it, show you guys how it comes and what comes with it, go over some of the features. You guys are gonna get your microfiber cleaning cloth, you're gonna get a card. I'm gonna bring your card in really close so you guys can read it. That's the back, awesome. As always, when you order from Patrick Tactical, you guys are always going to get a really good battery, a good name brand battery. They'll give you an Energizer battery. Good on them for giving you guys a good, reliable battery. There's the red dot. We'll go over that here in a bit. There are the screws. Now you guys get a dozen different sizes and styles of screws. These are the ones that came in earlier, not to mention the two that are uh, in the gun holding the red dot on. You guys get your Allen wrenches. Let's go ahead and get into the creme de la creme of what we. That's what we tell you. And I like the fact that uh, that Dwayne. Lens is 24.2 millimeters. I like that. That's small. I need. I 17.5 tall. Uh, recovery tactical. That's 24.3. The widest it is. Yep. Is 26.6. That'll work. Now it does narrow down back here. Just in case you're interested, it is 24.0 back there, 40.9.
On the bottom of it, it has a rubber gasket to help seal and keep the moisture out of there. You've got these little locking points. So on your plate, you've got locking points, not to mention your screws to hold, help hold this on. Like I said, it does come with the battery. Uh, you, your adjustments are right here in the middle of your rear integrated sight. Your other one is right here on the side. You do have the Allen wrenches, as I said, that come with it to adjust it that I showed earlier. And it does have the VE for vector optics on top. Love that, guys. There it is, what do you think? I love that color, it looks awesome. Let's see if I can get a picture of it. You're 20% so the off, red I think dot. you said a few. Now granted, as you guys can Go see, down. I got a light right up above. That's keeping this thing off. as bright as it can be. What do you got? Just shut the light off. There's that. Let's see some shooting, bro. And now in the dark. You guys can see it there. That's what it looks like. I can still see my sights. I can still see the red dot. Very, very nice red dot. Patriot 20. Right, 10 yards 20 here. off. Not bad. I'm going to shoot for the bottom left corner. Oh, this dude can shoot for real. Sighted in. I've seen him shoot 30, 40, 30, 40 yards nailing stuff with, with a pistol. He's pretty good with a pistol. I wish I was that good. A little high. So the adjustments are on top right here. Now this isn't provided, you guys do get an Allen wrench that it will be provided with this. But my adjustments are right here. That's a nice color. Right, right here on the side. I like that. I'm go ahead and make my adjustments. Burnt I'm bronze to the left. going on right there. I need to bring it down and to the right. There's no tactical clicking or anything like that. Same thing, lower left corner. That looks about right for elevation. I'm a little too far right, so I want to go left. Let's see. Handy, Let's see. handy pointer out here. So here's my first five shots. I had a little flyer down here. The one, two, three, four, five. And then here's my one, two, three, four, five. Don't count this. Don't look at this one or this one. It was me zeroing in earlier. Well, he used to be able this to shoot. This was our target. No, we were shooting at zeroing. We were just kind of walking around. <laughs> um, I used this. These two are my... My first two, just trying to actually see where I sighted in at. So these five shots right here are my first five that we went originally shot. 100 rounds later, this is where we're at right now. Now granted, I'm gonna be honest, I did adjust it a little bit after I shot this because I saw I was about one MOA or an inch right, so I did adjust it. And this is about where I adjusted. So I'm gonna kind of maybe go back to where I was at. Um, I did have a flyer down. Guys, go check out Delta D80, man. Go check out his channel, all right? Um, you want to watch the rest of that and uh, check out his other videos. A lot of red dot videos. When I was talking about, talking about red dots, I would literally take and show you a red dot right now, but I'm afraid that if I pulled up any type of gun part on the screen right here, they would shut the channel down. Puppies and all. So there, there, we, there we have it. Let's go back to the side chat, man, and see what's going on right here, all right? Hatchets and knives. Yup. Yep. Oh, that's another thing too, man. You know what I mean? Make sure you have uh listen, get a uh a wrist rocket, get a uh slingshot. These things are fantastic to have. Slingshots, wrist rockets, bows and arrows, hatchets, knives, all of those things are extremely important to have, you know? Uh, where's my wrench? I I, 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 I I did it to you already. Oh you got your wrench now. Yep, you got your wrench, brother. You know, uh, I didn't even tell, tell you guys we're back on here. No notifications. Oh, no, because I've always been on here. That's why I didn't shut it down and come back on again, brother. You know, I mentioned you earlier though, when we were talking like, you know, where's my doggy bone home slice? Yeah. Oh, man. They're waking up slowly, but surely these little fat ones, you know. All right. So what do we got going over here? I want to I want a British fairish ferret armored car a british ferret armored car what is that what is that is that is that is that a real thing a british ferret i'm gonna have to, i'm gonna have to look that up let's look that up you know let's see what that is let's go ahead and see what that is british ferret armored car Oh, yeah. Me too. I want one also. Let's go ahead and see what he's talking about. Uh, 
Ah, uh, yeah, definitely, definitely. There we are right there. Look at that thing, man. That is fantastic. Oh, let me just move this over a little bit. What's going on? There it is right there. That is fantastic. I want one of those things, too. Look at that. What is that in there? Holy cow, those things are amazing. Look at that. Okay, so speaking of armored cars and armored trucks, okay, you know you can buy those. I see them. Uh, I have a thing that you go, you go on, you know what I mean? Uh, buy armored vehicles. Let's go like here, right? Okay. Here we go. All right, well, yeah, that's, these are bulletproof Raptor trucks and stuff like that. Uh, bulletproof Tesla. Yeah, okay. No, I'm talking about, like, uh, by military vehicles, by military. You know, military surplus vehicles. There we go. All right. Yeah, it's Gov Planet. That's what it was. No, uh, yep. Okay. Let's see. View items. Look at this. Let me go ahead and make myself smaller here. Hold up. There we go. Like that. That's pretty cool. You know? It's a 6x6 six six truck. Cargo truck. But this is for, you know, how far are you going to travel on this? You know, I mean, you need... You're talking about fuel and stuff like that. This is... uh. But uh, $4,200 starting in the online auction, you know? You get yourself a nice 2006 Hummer right there. Look at that. Pick up one of them. Starting bid is 6000 at Gov Planet. They usually got some, some cool trucks on here. A 2001, 4800 right there. These are the things that you want to look at. See this right here? Generators, okay? Stuff like this. Starting bid, $25, okay? These things. So, yeah, people go in and look at armored cars, vehicles, stuff like that. I look at stuff like this and say, okay, this is stuff that is... Works for the military. It'll work for me. You know? A plasma cutting system. Alright? This is $75 starting bid right there. You know? I don't know what you'll wind up going for. It depends on who wants it on that particular day. You might want to pick up an old John Deere. Look at this. Six-wheeler. Starting bid. 300 bucks right there. Six by four. How cool is that, right? That Would that be great for on the property or going around going around town in? You know, going, doing, taking care of some stuff? Moving stuff? That would be fantastic. What else we got here? I love looking at this. Look at this. Can always use something like this. Now, okay. So you say, well, well, but that's not armored or anything like that. All right, well, what does it take to make something armored? All right, guys, let's talk about that for a second. So if I have a car and I have AR500 armor, okay, or I have a, a bunch of them, all right, or I'm able to get them surplus from somewhere. I'll put armored, armored vests on my windows. I'll put armored vests on my front window. On my car doors. I will wrap the whole inside of my vehicle in armor. Trunk. Behind the back seat if it was a, you know, one of those. Or truck. You can, make, you can turn your vehicle into an armored vehicle. 
by getting armored vests and stuff like that or making your own armor and then go ahead and just lining it in the car or something. I always said that I'd like to be able to get something that hooks on your windows or just like something that you could hook on your car and you could drive with and to instantly turn your car into an armored vehicle. Simple as that. Something that would just like protect your windows and your doors. Hooks right over the window right there or the top of the door. You close your door and it's over the top frame of the door. And then from there it just hangs down and clips up under the car. So now that whole side right there, and you might have a little window that you could want, want to look out of, that whole side of your door right there is armored. Do one on the other side. Do one on the back. And have little clips on it. That would be a really cool thing. I don't know if anybody makes them, but that would be a great business. You know what I mean? Making armored stuff that you could throw in it. Especially for um, getting people out of harm's way. You know, if there's a problem and you need to get people past, you know, you just armor up their car real quick and get them over there and take the armor off and then hang it on your car and get that out. Get, get that past the firefight. Where we at? I'm missing a whole bunch of stuff over here. I got to get down here. You know what I mean? The other thing, think about putting your electronics, batteries, in metal boxes. They will act like a Faraday cage for EMPs. Excellent. So I keep my uh, ammo cans. Okay? So I put everything in an ammo can. And if there's another way for, like, let's say if I had to wrap it in tin foil or some type of metal... But ammo cans are fantastic, especially if they have the seal around them. I mentioned that the other day. You could bury them everywhere. You take them, bury them, have your batteries, all that stuff in an ammo can. You're good to go. Ammo cans are only four to four to eight bucks. You could get a, a 50 cal ammo can all day long, you know? That's right. They are meant to protect, all right, not for speed. So, but if you had something that you could hang on your, on your vehicle, all right, and then snap it underneath, then you wouldn't lose it in the speed. Something that wrapped over your door, and you could still close your door. You could just, on the fly, turn your vehicle into an armored vehicle, at least to protect you, the driver, and maybe, you know, all four. And you could throw something up on your, on your dashboard to protect your windshield so nothing can uh, uh, penetrate like that. There are things to think about. You know, you don't have to necessarily have the car made into an armored car, but it would be great to where I could switch it to different cars and stuff like that, too. Or wrap it around somebody and run with them. You know what I mean? An armored blanket. I'm, come on, they make armored sweatshirts and T-shirts now. Like that idiot on YouTube that shot himself with a 9mm. Stupid, you know? There you go. See, I don't know anything about cars and how to work on them and stuff like that. I know nothing about that. Starting to see movement on the puppy cam. That's right. Oh, I told you they would wake up and they will be in full gear. And how I put them to sleep again is I feed them, you know, and they'll go to sleep for the rest of the night then. Um, okay. First of all, Walmart always has them on sale. So you go to Walmart, and the most expensive that I've seen them at Walmart, and I bought them there, is 12 bucks. So I don't know about Walmart by you, but Walmart's by me, and I'm in a really expensive, expensive place, brother. Check out, um, all right, so the puppy cam died. Battery died on the puppy cam, guys. Oh, I'm sorry to, sorry to say that. Puppy's battery died. It was running for hours. Pretty good. I, I, I could have plugged it in. I just didn't feel like it. Um. In the future, I will. Uh, but yeah, uh, they're like $12. Now, I have a friend of mine that sells them. But he's not in your state. He's in Florida right now. And he's got a whole... You can buy them surplus also. My friend of mine, one of my one of my army bros, he sells them. He's got a whole garage full of them. But uh, they're not worth shipping. You know what I mean? So, like, that's the other thing. Because they're just too bulky. You take all the tops off. You put them all together. Well, you could do them like that. Just slide them inside with another. Harbor Freight has also got them cheap there. The thing, when, oh, but you have to make sure that they have the seal. When you open up the top, okay, look in the top. A lot of times the top, you, they come off in two parts. Uh, make sure there's a, a rubber seal around the inside of the top. If they don't have a rubber seal, then you don't want it. You know, you could always make your own seal, but why? That's the difference between like the Chinese ones and the ones that aren't Chinese, too. You know. 
Uh, he's over in uh, Tampa area, I think. Over in Tampa area. If you want John, I'll hook you up with him. All right. My bro Frank, he's got him. I'll, uh, I'll hook you up all day long. He's got lots of other stuff too, you know. My bro was selling tents, okay? Hold on a second. Surplus, I want to show you what they look like. He was selling them. They came in cases, like hard cases, so you could move them, and then you set them up. You set them up. You blow. They blow air into them, okay? I want to show you what they look like. Here we are. This is it right here. Here we go. This is what my this is what my buddy was uh hang on let me pull this over. This one right here. That type. And you could connect them. You know how big they are? Inside they're tremendous inside. Hold on a second. Let me just make this smaller. Let's see. Let me see if I have one. And you can uh, install air conditioning in them, all that stuff. Let's see if he has it. This is what it looks like on the inside right here. Like that. But they were rounded at the top and they were huge. You could fit like, you could fit two tractor trailers inside of them. Uh, those are another great thing to have. Especially like if you have to get on the go somewhere. And then you hook it up to an air thing and you blow it up. It's fantastic. But let's go back and let's see this right here. Let's see something right here. Military tents. Mm-mm. No, 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 no. Yeah, all of these are too small. These are nothing compared to what he had. It was more like this. They were insulated. This is exactly what it was right here. And he was selling them for three grand. You know? So, anyway, he gets stuff like that. So, if you're interested in John, I'll, I'll hook you up with him. Don't sweat it. You know? He's always hustling something, you know? <laughs> Scott, what's up, man? You're a dick. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, we got a meeting in the mines here, bro. We're always hanging out, man. Yo, get what you want to get from here. What do you got? Tell us what you got, bro. Listen, uh, did you join the Discord? Because if you have something, if you have stuff, then post it to our Discord community page, all right? The link is in the description down below, all right? So if you're looking at it, it's the very first link. It's our Discord channel. Click on it. There's over 50 of us down on there right now, and we all go live together. It doesn't record it or anything like that, so it doesn't go anywhere. Um, but at the same time, I'll make, uh, I'll, or Sean rather, We'll make a special, if you have stuff that you're selling, Mustang, I'll have Sean make a special section just for the stuff that you're selling, okay? So, he'll put it right in there so guys could go ahead and look. Absolutely. All right, my brother. Mike, thank you so much for stopping by. It's getting late. I'm getting ready to uh, bug, out my, bug out myself. There we go, Sean. Sean just put it up, all right? We have a lot of fun on Discord, man. We have a blast. Tomorrow night, I'm going to be on Discord, okay? I'm going to put the puppies on here tomorrow night, but I'm going to go live on Discord tomorrow night, so we're going to hang out on Discord, you know? Um, all right, so what else we got? Oh, these guys are just talking back and forth. All right, guys, so, um, yeah, just... And on Discord, hook, hit, hit me up on Discord, or... Uh, Join the Discord channel or email me, info at 71com John, and I'll give you my cell phone number so that we can talk to one another. And then uh, tell me what it is you're interested in, and I'll uh, speak to uh, my, my, my bro, Frank. But also check Mustang Mangley. He's saying he's got a whole bunch of stuff, too, you know? So let's see what you got. But if he's right by you, it makes it a lot simpler. He's always, always got his hustle on, all right? He's uh, um. 
Retired from the military. Uh, retired E8, I think. Uh, I think Frank retired as an E8. I was out a lot, lot longer. A lot. I was out years before him, but he stayed in a lot longer, and he got out. Um, he got out full pension and full disability, too. All right, guys. So this brings us to our Gorn section. Let's see. Has anybody been posting on Gorn? On the um. Let's go and check out our Gorn section right here. But hold on a second. Let me go and see something real quick. I just want to pull this up right here. All right. Let's go into Gorn right there. And I just want to see if I find this Gorn file right here, okay? Um, let's see. Let's go into images. And let's go. Let's look for Gorn. Hold up. G-O-R-N. Gorn. Oh. I have to put this. I have to put this back in here for you guys, man. It, it's not officially Gorn unless it's, it goes Gorn. G O R N. Gorn. All right. Where's my Gorn video? There it is. There it goes. Quick time movie. There we go. There it goes. And before there it is. Bingo. Let's put that right there. What's this? Oh no 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 no. This one right here. That right there. There we go. Good. I think that's it. There it is. There it is. Okay, guys. So it is now. Let's go to here, right here. Let's cancel that. And let's go ahead and take this and drop that on there. Gorn. Yes. Gun porn, which will be in the Gorn section right there. Oh, there we go. Gorn. There we go. That stands for gun porn. That's right, fella, brothers. Gun porn. All right, let's go into our. Uh, let me let me check and see if anybody sent me anything because I think some of guys sent sent me some stuff right here real quick. And did it did it did it. Yup, Jerry Parker sent me some Gorn. Yup. Ah, this is funny. I love Jerry Parker, man. Jerry Parker's awesome. Big Jerry. All right, let's go ahead and bring this up right there. There we go. Okay. <laughs> no reason for a child this age to have a cell phone. That is hilarious. Well done. Well done, Mr. Parker. Well done. That was fantastic. There is no reason a little little child like that should have a cell phone. I agree, bro. I absolutely agree. Um, let's see. Uh, and Mr. Parker will get you fixed. New text can write. Just go, hey, I order all the parts. AR-10. Oh, okay, this is just guy right there. You know, we're still flying. We got all that. And I think we're good. Okay. I think we are good. All right. So let's go ahead and um, let's go to Discord. I need to reach out to Mr. Parker and fix that. Hey, um, while we're on here, this is what uh, S2 Pallet would. Mr. Parker got this last night when he tried to go on the Discord and talk with us. He got suppressed. You do not have permission to speak at, speak in this channel. So uh, if we could check out his, his account, Jerry Parker's account, and find out why, all right, um, he'd really appreciate it because he wants to come live with us, you know, and have the live chats with us on, on Discord, all right? So uh, hit me up later with that, all right, bro? Uh, what else we got? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, John. Thanks, brother. First time shooting C CZ seven 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 five six point five cream when you get nice. Do it up, brother. Do it up. Absolutely. Did you make any videos? Cause I don't believe it unless you show a video. All right, Chris. I'm sorry. I just don't. No, I believe you, bro. I'm only kidding. Look, I'm looking very green today, right? Yeah, I don't have it set up right. Okay. Thank you very much. I'll have to go over them and look at it. Okay? Yeah, we don't really... We just chit-chat. You know what I mean? Like, we don't really do anything crazy or anything like that. Um, we don't know where the conversation is going to go, to be honest with you. But thank you, brother. Absolutely. And I will be very careful on that. Uh, let me see. I right, so make sure, make sure, make sure. Yo, Paul Nelson, what's going on, man? Yes, we are at the end, brother. We're at the end. All right. And 
Thank you, brother. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. No reason to. And anyway, this 5G stuff scares the heck out of me. All right, let's open Discord. All right, let's go here. And let's go to Gorn. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Free ride hell driver dropped some stuff on here, too. I'm going to start at the bottom, okay? Start at the newest post right here. Let's pull it up. <laughs> yeah, well, we're dealing with guns, too. You know what I mean? Like, we're showing guns and stuff like that, but yeah. Uh, we're always going to be careful, man. We don't want to get we don't want to get caught up in anything. You know what I mean? They shut down never enough ammo's first Discord because it violated something on Discord use. All right, okay, no problem. It's good to know, man. It's very very good to know. Uh, my area is called Felony Flats. All right, they sell JoJo Stone. JoJo Stone. All right, my era. Is called Felony Flight. They sell JoJo Stone Walls. I don't know. We, you guys must be having a conversation. I don't know what that is. But let's go ahead and look at this right here. All right. Reptile, guys. Oh, my. She's pretty. Look at that. Now, is that... Let's see what it is. Is it 9 millimeter? Or is it 10 millimeter? What is it? Okay. Lower spike tactical, all right. Must have been looking at an Adam's arms, but still very nice lower, all right. Bolt hold open, all the goodies, functions flawless. Fantastic. Way to go, brother. Got the can on there, man. You're doing, you're doing really good. Is that a, um, is that a hyper, hyper fire trigger you got on there, bro? Let us know. Here we go. Is that a Chiapa Rhino I spot in there? It might be. Let's see. Oh, that's pretty. I think this is Free Ride Hell Driver. She's pretty. Look at this. Oh, I like that. It's one of those hidden desktop y things right there. Very snazzy. Very snazzy up there in Sweden, Switzerland, whoever put that up. I like it. I'm going to assume that this is a Sig Sig Swa. A Sig S Sour Sig. Oh, yes, yeah, a Sig. Sig Swa. Sig Swa. Oh, guys, look at this. Do you guys see this right here? Is that the coolest thing in the whole world or what? Look at that. Never mind the fact that there's a monster ash drum here. Two 30 round magazines, okay? That is bad, bad, bad. But that is the coolest little thing ever, that little Transformer guy. Freaking free ride hell driver, man. I, God bless you, brother. God bless all you folks up there in Switzerland and Sweden, wherever you're at. That's fantastic. And this we went through yesterday. This is Light Fighter Collective. And I cannot go through any of this other stuff because I wound up getting smacked for yesterday's video on something that I saw up there. So I'm not going to go any further than that. But that said, guys, all right, we'll check out a little quick corn reel real quick. Wall and Tactical. He's got some stuff that he's selling for his channel. Wall and Tactical. You can go and check him out. All right. Well, in tactical, he's got some knife, uh, gun, uh, guns, knives, and uh, phones. Very cool. Reptile guys, I dig that blade, man. That is a nasty, nasty little chigger right there, man. And it's a blade that World Tactical's making right there. Ghost Rider with the Spider Co. Very cool blade, bro. Very cool. Is that your EDC blade? Let us know. 
And there he is right there with the bayonet and the little... And, oh, look at this little wooden one right here. I'm digging that. What is that? Is that for sharpening? What is that? What is that? Very patriotic. I'm digging that. Sean the Barber. Won't tactical position have a conversation with him. And then we talk about blinding grades and stuff like that. And that is very cool. I like that little blade right there. It's a nice, nice little blade to carry. And we got that. Wait, wait, she's showing the barber's blade. Reminds me of like a corona commercial. Very cool. All right, guys. And with that, I will wish you all adieu. All right. That's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. All right. This is good. Did you get... Wait, did you send it to me? Personally, Willem? Yes, I think I did. I think I showed it before. That's why you weren't on that night. Hold up. Yes. I did show it already, but let's bring it up. One last thing right here. I did. Oh, yes. Remember I was talking about I love this uh, uh, Magpul... Uh, 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 a rail that you got there, I had mentioned. And it, and I love the sling. I certainly love the LPVO. This is an easy shot. One to, one by one to 6 by 24 scope. It's a 10.5 inch AR-15 chambered in 556-223. Thank you very much, brother. Thank you. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and uh, close that. Hold up. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it right there? Let's see. Right there. There it is right there. Yep. All right, guys. And that concludes our going section for tonight. All right. And in the meantime... Practice proper farm. Say, take dig at all times. And as Pony47 says... Cool Blades, Charlie Mike, Charlie Mike. I love you guys, man. I'll see you guys soon. Tomorrow night, Discording it. We are Discording it. Drop it on them. Drop that real shit. Smoke Water up. Tell them like it is. Smoke Real shit. Tell them like it is. Drop it on them. that real shit. Smoke Water up.